From March 2025, the OPERA exam will replace the CAPS exam as the new pathway for overseas pharmacists to practice and get registered in Australia. Are you a pharmacist dreaming of working in Australia with a six-figure salary? Then you're at the right place at the right time. In this video, I'll break it all down for you. So stick around till the end to know everything regarding the new OPERA exam 2025. Okay, so let's start with why Australia is the dream destination for people who wish to be pharmacists. It's because Australia issues more than 1,85,000 visas to healthcare professionals. There are more than 3,000 job vacancies out there for people who wish to practice pharmacy. And Australia offers you an average annual salary of up to 1 lakh Australian dollars, which in Indian rupees is approximately equal to 60 lakhs a year. Now, what are the benefits for pharmacists who will work in Australia? Number one is the higher earning potential. The jobs in Australia offer huge salaries to pharmacists. Next is the quality of life. Because Australia is known for its high standard of living, excellent healthcare and diverse culture, it makes it an attractive destination for so many people. Next is the career opportunities. Because there is a high demand for pharmacists in Australia, along with perks such as instant PR or work visa, Plus, you'll enjoy a better work-life balance, which can help pharmacists manage their workload and also maintain a healthy lifestyle, along with free education for children and free healthcare access. Australia is as good as it gets. So now coming to the eligibility criteria, which means who all can take the opera exam. It's important for you to have a Bachelor of Pharmacy, B Pharma or a higher degree, plus transcript or proof of active registration with the State Pharmacy Council in your home country. Now coming to a much asked question, which is what is there in the OPERA exam? So in relation to CAPS, it is a lot less lengthier and a lot simpler than that. It has got 120 questions in total and is 2.5 hours long without any breaks. This exam commences in March 2025 and it has one paper. Now, according to the content area and based on the total number of questions, I will break down how many questions you can expect from all these content areas, starting with biomedical sciences. The percentage of questions out of 120 would be 20% from medicinal chemistry and biopharmaceutics. You can expect 10% of the total number from pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. You can expect 10% of the total number from pharmacology and toxicology. You can expect 15% of the total number of questions and from therapeutics and patient care, you will expect the maximum number, which is 45% of the total number of questions. Coming to the details of opera exam, such as the exam dates, the opera exam is conducted thrice a year and the dates for the year 2025 are 3rd to 5th of March 2025, 14th to 16th of July 2025, 24th to 26th of November 2025. The exam centres are Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, Mumbai, New Delhi, Pune, Noida, Chandigarh, Jalandhar and Ludhiana. The exam consists of only one paper, please remember, and consists of 120 questions. The exam has to be completed in 2.5 hours and no breaks, like I said, will be provided. Now let's have a look at all these steps to start your dream pharmacy career in Australia. First is your initial skill assessment for which you will need your degree, your transcript, your birth certificate, a valid passport, a government ID proof, a passport size photograph and pharmacist registration certificate. All of this needs to be submitted to the Australian Pharmacy Council which is also called APC. With this initial skill assessment, it is made sure that you are the right candidate to appear for the opera exam and also that you meet the Australian standards. Now coming to English proficiency requirements, you can choose either IELTS or PTE or OET. In IELTS, you will need an individual band score of 7. For PTE, you need a score of 65. And for OET, you need a minimum score of 350 out of 500 or grade B. Now comes the really important part, which is the visa application. Common options include 
subclass 491 and 190 for which no experience is required and if i talk about the work visa subclass 482 and 494 two years of experience will be required and if you are going for study visa you can work for 24 hours a week and intern hours would be 1575 hours so if you're feeling overwhelmed by all of this, let me tell you that you really need not panic at all because Academically has curated the perfect exam preparation courses for you. Speaking about our opera exam preparation course, let me share the program highlights. Uh, Instructor-led and self-paced content is there for you because we believe that everybody has different pace and uh, we respect your pace. That's why self-paced content is there for you. You are given a one-on-one -on -one mentoring session by our expert mentors and then extended access to content has been given uh, to the people because we believe that you know preparation takes time and uh, if you have extended access to the content you can review it again and again there is flexible schedule so that you can time your study you can choose at what time you would like to see the content at what time you would like to study then our periodic webinars from industry mentors feedback and assessment to help you know what are your strong and weak points then there are tips of cv writing and cover letter generation so that you can land a job right after you clear the exam will help you uh, in a great great way to do that and then there is placement and visa support so if you're feeling overwhelmed by all of this, let me tell you that Academically has curated the perfect exam preparation course for you. Speaking about our opera exam preparation course, let me share a few highlights. Instructor-led and self-paced content. We believe that everybody has a pace and we let you move forward with that pace only. There is one-on-one -on -one mentoring support so that you know you receive uh, the support that you need there is one-on-one -on -one mentoring for you extended access to content because preparation takes time and hence there is extended access to the content so that you can review it again and again there is flexible schedule so that you can uh, prepare according to your schedule and then there are periodic webinars from industry mentors feedback and assessment to help you understand your strengths and weaknesses tips on cv writing and cover letter generation in order to help you land a job as soon as you clear the exam and as soon as possible and then is placement and visa support also there are ai based mock tests which help you understand your strengths and weaknesses through ai generated support and that's it. This is all you need to know before planning to take the opera exam in 2025. Go through this video carefully so that you don't miss any of the mandatory requirements set by the Australian Pharmacy Council. So are you ready to take the first step towards becoming a registered pharmacist in Australia? Visit academically.com and book your one-on-one -on -one free consultation and start an amazing pharmacy career in Australia. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates on overseas pharmacy exams. Thank you and good luck.